So over here you can see that I have two video footages and what I'm going to do is drag in this footage right here on the bottom and I'm going to go around and create out a new track right here. So let's go around and add a video track right here and add in another footage on the top right here. So the other footage that you can see has a green screen. So what you can do with green screen is easily remove it so that you can see the layer beneath it. So for um, to do that, what, uh, what, what, what you can do is use something called the chroma key under filters. So to do that, I'm going to go around, select out the clip by clicking on it. And then I'm going to go to filters right here and press the plus button. So once I do that, I'm going to go around over here and type in chroma just like this. And here you can see that I got chroma key simple right here. So if I were to go around with simple, you can see all it has is simple settings. So there's a uh, key color right here. So you can click on this and uh, take a sample of the green and you can see that the green screen has been removed. You can work around with the distance to change around the tolerance level of the green uh, screen removal as well. And you can see that now the background has been removed right here, but the output is not very clean. So if you want a more detailed option, you can go around, click on the plus button and type in chroma right here. And here you can see advanced chroma key option is here, which allows you to work around with the key color right here. And you can work around with the red uh, right here. You can see that there's a little bit of um, a thing going on right here. You can really go around and change it. You can work around with the green right here, as you can see, and the blue offer as well and be more precise. So here you can see that you can work around with the different shapes right here, like box, like um, uh, ellipsoid right here, or like diamond right here, according to how you like. And you can go for flat S or you can go for normal S right here, or you can go for thin S right here or slope right here, as you can see right here. So let me just go for a heart right here. You can also work around with the slope right here. You can go for uh, maximum or minimum right here. Or you can add or subtract according to how you like. And then you can invert it out over here as well, just like this. So you can go around, invert this out so that you can see that the other person uh, is um, the chroma is there in inverted way. So that is how you can go around and see the background as you can see right here and work around with the chroma key to remove our background inside of shortcut. So if you guys learn something as always and as always, please like comment, share and subscribe.